Welcome to the back of the bus and also welcome to stage 14. Hard. Auto Spaniel 2015. Very clever, Dino. Hard. hard stage today, uh, pretty hard uphill finish. Uh, we've come a long way, stage 14. I think you can tell by the back of the bus that it's not that neat anymore. Priorities although, have changed. Although we are pretty neat guys. Uh, but yeah, I think it's only gonna get worse from here. Eh? Uh, it was a bit of a different breakfast this morning. We had to pack up nice and early and jump on the bus and it was uh, yeah, the second meal we've eaten on the bus, one on the way to Andorra for the dinner and then uh, this morning eat breakfast on the bus on the way to the start. So it, was, uh, yeah, it wasn't as enjoyable as normal. Uh, we all know Esteban here is having a great tour but unfortunately we're having a few discipline issues with him. Um, one of my roles is to look after him with the media and make sure he's saying all the right things and uh, being friendly but we're dropping a few swear words. I know I'm up against it with a car full of Aussies um, and a bus full of Aussies, but we had the F-bomb dropped in an interview uh, on the rest day and then what happened yesterday on live TV, Esteban? Uh, yesterday is nothing, nothing particular. I spoke with like, the people that spoke here in the bus. Yesterday the interview asked me, hey, how you feel your legs? I say, I'm um, really tired, really, <laughs> really tired. <laughs> Did your heart skip a beat, Taryn? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he looked over at me, my eyes were popping out of my head. Um, but he saved us all, because like, he saved my job. I would have been she in all did, sorts. She, she didn't kiss fans. <laughs> she what? She did kiss her fans. <laughs> Are you your part to blame for Shava's post-race shenanigans, mate? Um, look, I'm pretty much on the job. 24 hours a day and I leave him for what five minutes and he's off swearing I mean I can't do everything you've, you've changed mate since that thug off apparently apparently all good thugs have tattoos so we're applying a bit of artwork this morning this is one gift for my Colombian friends here it's for you Dan yeah the one Colombia t-shirt football um, nice one gift mate thank you yeah, I didn't have to swap a sweaty shirt for <laughs> Yeah, yeah um, aside from the swearing, the only other problem we have with Esteban is that he will say yes to every photo and every interview for half an hour. He never stops. So the strategy is that we have to be the mean people. Um, so basically what he says is he smiles and continues on and he gets the photos and he asks me to put on my resting bitchy face and I have to turn away the people. So Give us your best. No. Come on. No, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> One moment. He won't even listen to me. I've put up the bitchy face of me for sure. Always is like this. <laughs> <laughs> In the start today, we're leaving from Victoria, a uh, stage that probably famously within our team. We've won the stage, the first three years of uh, the Arika Greenwich cycling team, we won here. First two years with our Olympia, and then uh, another year with Michael Matthews. Did you see that statue of me on the left hand side there? <laughs> oh, mate, they love you, they love you. This is it, this is it, this is MP Avenue. Best believe that when you need that, I'll provide that you will always have it. I'll be on that. Vale! He saw the uptown bunk, did he? <laughs> Start out at the stage in uh, Victoria, a lot of guys went out the back. Um, it's a breakaway now, five riders. Um, they've got seven or eight minutes. And uh, we in fact are going to have a bit of a stop. We're going to see Shabby's Nan. 
stop here beside the road and uh, see how she's going before we get into the final of the race. Where are you, shall we? Yep. <laughs> you got cakes or biscuits? Yeah. yeah. Typical dessert of, from this area. Somados and quesada. <laughs> Seven kilometers to go for the breakaway. Uh, eight minutes and uh, 17 seconds further back. This lot. Well, Nick, I'm Bourbon and Coke. Three pot, please. Some Nobby's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Cruz on the attack right now and he tries to kick. Micah's going with him. Quintana also wants a piece of the day. In fact, it's not Micah. Micah can't just follow on. Thank you very much, he says. The day that Sammy Sanchez said, I'm not racing on, this man reached out and grabbed a stage win. Further back down the mountain, the green jersey wants to take some uh, extra steps forward. Esteban Chavez is pushing on. <laughs> the boys up front, and there, Aru finally running out of gas at this point. He's put so much into this day. It's a long one as well, and he finds something somewhere. There goes Perito, just up further up the road, chasing down uh, uh, our man Quintana. And here we are, no response at all from Rafa Maika, who stays with Aru. So does Chavez. Big hugs for Chavez, but we need the camera back at the line, for goodness sake. Okay, that's stage 14 out of the way. Uh, we've done two solid weeks of uh, racing. We've got a lot of uh, tired people out there. Staff are getting tired. Uh, directors are getting tired. Tempers are getting short. Uh, even you know, like the riders are getting cranky. Staff are getting cranky. But one guy who seems to be getting through it okay up until now, at least, is, uh, is Devon. It was another great ride today. Yeah, it's really a hard stage, the longer stage. And also it's 15 kilometers more from the neutral. And yeah, we have really good day, not only me, the team, it's an amazing job today. And finally I can stay with the best climber in the world. I'm really happy for that. And tomorrow and after tomorrow we continue in this fight. Yes, so we've got two more solid days of racing before the, uh, the rest day and then on to the time trial. So let's see how we go. Yeah.